Hi everyone, welcome back. I see these Facebook arguments all the time about how to do math calculations when we're using what we call order of operations. So let's have a look what's going on here. I'm talking about a fairly simple case first, but then this goes directly to what's been happening on Facebook recently and something I've been thinking about for a while. So people look at when you've got division and times, do you go the division first or do you go the multiplication first? So if we did the division first, we have 10 divided by 2 is 5 times the 4, and we get 20. So if we did the multiplication first, we have 10 divided by 8, and 10 divided by 8 is 1.25. And you get very, very different answers. So I always want to stop and look at it and go, okay, let's look at real life and say what happens in real life, how does this get affected? And I love talking about the butchers or sausages or, or steak or something like that. So if you went into the, into the butcher and you said, I want 10 kilograms of sausages, and the, the butcher grabs you out 10 kilograms of sausages, and you know he's going to charge $4 a kilo for the sausages. Pretty cheap, but let's say, just look at those easy numbers. There's a reason why I want that number. Then you say, no, 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 I don't want 10 kilograms of sausages. I only want five. I want you to cut it in half, divide it in two. Divide it in two, cut it in half. So I put that with two in a bit better. So divide it by two, cut it in half. So what would happen then? Instead of 10 kilos of, kilos of sausages, you'd be getting five kilograms of sausages. And then you'd say to the butcher, okay, yeah, yeah, I really want five kilogram sausages. And he says, I'm going to charge four dollars a kilogram. So how, what would your calculation be? So you've got the 10 kilos of sausages, you divide it by two, so you end up with only five kilograms of sausages. And then you're paying four dollars a kilo, so you're going to get the five, so you have a look at it again. 10 divided by 2 is for 5, then you're going to multiply it by $4 a kilo, and you end up with $20 a kilo. Now that's obviously very reasonable. There's no doubt in most people's minds that the 10 divided by 2 is, you've already said to the butcher, I want that. Now, so what's happening over here, it would be completely misleading and completely wrong. So have a look, we don't even need to look at that case at the moment. Let's have a look at this case again and talk about what's actually happening. So the divide is equal in power we talk about, equal in strength, equal in control to a multiplication. So the multiplication and the division just go what we call from left to right, left to right. So if I gave you a crazy question, I made that one like this, and I go 10 divided by two times four divided by two times six, and I tried to work that out, we just go left to right. See, some people will think you go to two times four first, and they think you go to two times six first. It's not. Multiplication, and I'm going to put it this way, multiplication equals division. Neither is more powerful, and you can't say really equals, but you can sort of say they are equivalent to each other, they have the same influence as each other. So if I look at this, 10 divided by 2 would be 5, so we're up to 5, 5 falls are 20, and then we divide the 20 by 2, you get 10, and then you times the 10 by the 6, and we get the 60. And it's all pretty simple, and most people go, yeah, that's okay. And then you go to Facebook, and Facebook does this to us. They deal with the same questions, slightly different numbers, but there is part of it that I'm going to talk about that they're doing the same. They go back to here, and instead of having times by 4, they'll put, let's times by bracket 2 plus 2, and look at what happens to it. And then they'll say, okay, let's make it a little more tricky again, and let's remove that multiplication. So then they'll have the question written as, say, 2 plus 2. Now, just to make the life a little bit easier, so these are not all twos. I'm going to turn that into, say, a five. That will do us. And let's have a look what's happening here this time. So, most people are okay that the brackets have to be done first. I could go again as a butcher, and you say to the box, uh, the butcher, I want 10 kilograms of sausages. He grabs out the 10 kilograms of sausages, and you say, no, 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 I want to divide it by five. So you don't really want 10. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I don't want 10 kilograms of sausages. So you divide it by five and you get two kilograms of sausages. And then you say, okay, I'm going to multiply that by how much? Now the butcher says, oh, it's $2 a kilo. Oh, and he says, no, sorry, I made a mistake. It's not $2 a kilo. It's actually $4 a kilo. So what happens, you know you have to turn that into a $4 a kilo. So if you looked at the question originally and not thinking about the sausages, you, you could just say, I've got to do the brackets first all the time. So people come up with these patterns they talk about. Brackets have to be first. There's even more to this, but the brackets are first. Most people are okay with that. Then I'm going to put here multiplication, division, and then last of all, you're going to have addition and subtraction. But
but the multiplication and division are just equal and you go left to right. So if I complicate the question and I went 2 plus 3 divided by 4 times 2 minus 10, say, something like that, these have to be done first. They're the ones that you do and they have the power over the numbers and once you get that calculation then you can do the rest of the addition and the subtraction. Go back to the butcher again. So he said I had 10 kilos, he divided by 5 and he says, oh, it's $2 a kilo. No, I made a mistake, it's not $2 a kilo, it's $4 a kilo. So you've got two kilos at $4 a kilo and you come out with the eight. Let's go through. I'm watching people argue on Facebook about this right here, right now. So you've got a 10 divided by five. You know that you've got to do the brackets first, so that's a four. So does that become 54? And you go, no, no, no. There's a multiplication written between whenever two things are together, other than two numbers. So a five in the bracket has a multiplication between it. So there's a multiply there, and we go back to the original question, you go left to right, 10 divided by five is two, you multiply it by the four, and you get the two fours or eight, and in terms of sausages and money, that would have been eight dollars. Now I'm always tempted to go a little bit further, because that's just the basics of all that happens. So if I end up with a question that we're saying, oh, let's go 15 minus 10 divided by five, brackets, let's make it different numbers, two plus three, and then minus five. And now it's getting pretty crazy. So we looked at that and the whole thing there. So let's say if we call this question one, this is going to be question two. So what's the pattern to it? Brackets have to come first. So I could actually just simply write the whole question out again, divided by five, put times, because we know there's a multiplication there, times another five, minus five. So people are tempted to go 15 take 10. It's not 15 take 10 until you get all of this section here I could put brackets around it. Like sometimes people, old school, we put square brackets to say all of that has to go first. Well, that's how we, what's happening there. Now you've got the 15. We've got the 10 divided by 5. So if you, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So that whole section there has just become a 2. Your model complained by 5. Now most of it will okay now, but we'll just finish it off. So that's a 15 minus that 10 minus that 5. And the answer I've got to that question turns out to be 0. I didn't mean for it to be zero, I'm just making it up on the spot. Well, thanks for watching. Um, below the video, I keep on having a playlist on what we are doing, what I've created in the past on this topic, and then I'll often put another playlist as well that will be related or something that you might find helpful at this level of work. Oh, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.